let's talk about function declarations versus definitions. So first of all, I'm going to create a simple function and we'll look at how it's used. So I'm going to create this function factorial, factorial, and it takes a, an integer num and it returns the value of the factorial. So I'll just have a int product equal to one, and then I'll do a for loop for and i equals two, let's write two. i is less than num, actually less than equal to num. And then i plus plus, so you leap through all of it. And then we just make our product bigger. All right, so this will generate the factorial and I just return that product. And here we go. If I want to use it, I can just put it directly in here and I can run it. So factorial and pass in five, which should give me 120. So if I do that and I run my code. You will see that it says 120. That's great. Now, one of the things that was important here is I put this function before my main function. If I put it after the main function, then it doesn't know that this function exists. So if I run it, it says it failed to build because it was trying to use factorial and factorial didn't exist. So that can be problematic. So how do you solve that? Well, what you do is you have a function. This is a function definition, but I can declare my function up here as well. So int factorial and then just say it takes an int now it knows that there is a factorial that exists and once it says this exists it can run this code and the compiler will build it knowing that at some point it should show up later so if i run my code now it actually works now you can take this one step further. So this project has this main function, but this factorial, I don't want it messing up my main function, making my main function illegible and too messy. So I'm going to go ahead and add some files. So I go over here and I'm going to add to my project a new source file. And my new source file is going to be called my math. So my math.cpp. And then I can also create an associated header file. So I can just check mark that and it would create both of them. Or I can manually do it later. So I do that. And then I go ahead and I add a new header file. And do my math at that point. So now I've got two new files. So the mymath.h and the mymath.cpp. You'll notice that in this mymath.h it has all these weird things right here. What it does is when you load in the MyMath, it processes through this and it says, if this code MyMath H is not defined, then we can run the code. Otherwise it just skips down to this end if and then ends out of there. And so then the very next thing it does is it defines it. So what does this do? Well, what this thing does is it makes it so that my code can actually only load the header file one time because if it's loaded multiple times it doesn't work well all right so now let's go ahead and see just to see what happens right now we haven't moved anything over there if i were to give this declaration twice so i put it maybe three times and run it it might say nothing because it's just a declaration but if I do, but two definitions, that might be a bit more of a problem. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this right there, remove it and take this factorial and take this and put it over in my header because that is where I put my declarations. So now this is a declaration and then I go over to the main again and I take my factorial function, the definition and I put it in the main code over here. 
Now, once this is done, my main program suddenly says, I don't know where this factorial is. In fact, this uh, my math doesn't even know where it is, but it has got the definition, so it's okay with that. I can, if I want to, do an include statement that says include, and then I type in my math dot h right here. And this will include it so that if I have functions inside of my math that I use other functions inside of my math, it makes it so it works better. If I go to the main thing, all I need to do is add in an include statement and include the my math dot h. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference right here. This one is just a, in, you know, in less than greater than type marks. And this one is the actual file name and it has to be in the current directory or if it's not in the current directory, I have to tell it where it is. At this point, I can use factorial because it knows that once this is built, once the my math object has been built, it's going to be able to link this over and it knows that the my math object exists because of the header file right here. So I go ahead and run this. I can run my code again and I can see that once again, it does return 120. So this is how you can separate out functions that you use regularly or you want to have in your own little library. You put them in a separate library. You want to have the header file and the actual source code file having the same name, just different extensions. So the CPP and the H, you want them to be different. And then in the main, when it links up, you can see right here that I just include the header file. And then when it builds it, it can be built. And then if you look over and how it's building things um, in C Lion, it has for this code project, you have the different pieces that are all built and put together. So I hope that helps you with function definitions, declarations, and header files.